Idaho Fishing Game is getting more reports of people catching walleye in the Hell's Canyon portion of the Snake and Salmon Rivers than ever before. They say this shows the fish are spreading, which is not good for native salmon and steelhead. Hector Mendoza is here to explain why walleye in our waters is not a good sign. Hector. Well, according to Fish and Game, roughly 80 years ago, walleye were first spotted in the Pacific Northwest in Lake Roosevelt in Washington through illegal introduction. And they say that other illegal introductions may be the cause of walleye appearing in the Columbia and Snake Rivers. And now, walleye have been found in Idaho every year for the last few years, negatively impacting native fish and local businesses that rely on that native fish. Super predators. The walleye salmon are making their way into Idaho. Decimate our smolt numbers. The walleye will eat any fish they can get their teeth into, which is not good for Idaho native fish like salmon and steelhead, and definitely not good for small fish towns like Riggins, where native salmon are the bread and butter of the community. People come from all over the country. They stay in our motels. They eat at our restaurants. They utilize our outfitters. They shop at our tackle stores, our grocery store. It's the lifeblood of this community and what keeps the lights on for six months out of the year. According to the Idaho Fish and Game Department, over the last five years, the number of walleye appearing in Idaho has gone up. They've occurred in places like Cascade, the Snake River, uh, Lake Lowell, and then this year especially, we've had more anglers catch them in uh, the Snake River downstream of Hell's Canyon Dam. And it's not only a problem for places that rely on native fish to help contribute to local economies, it affects Idaho's endangered salmon and steelhead. We've spent millions and millions of dollars on recovering salmon and steelhead in Idaho because they're one of the most popular species here. And these new predators coming in and expanding really have the ability to threaten those conservation efforts. One way Idaho Fish and Game is helping reduce the population of this apex predator is by going through commercial anglers from other states. We contract with them uh, to suppress walleye in a place like Ponderé where they're very impactful to kokanee populations and trophy, uh, other trophy fish species. And they also have incentive for anglers. Basically putting a bounty on, a couple dollar bounty on each individual fish, have anglers go out and do that. Those incentives aren't everywhere, only in places like Ponderay, Idaho, where there are larger populations of walleye. Idaho Fish and Game says that this is an open season for walleye right now for those that have licenses and the proper gear. And the best place to help with this problem is by getting out fishing, making sure your kids love to fish, appreciate these salmon and steelhead, and, and in, the, in the process of helping them, let's eat a few walleye. Idaho Fish and Game says to help them keep track of locations where walleye are caught, they ask anglers to let them know how big the fish they caught are, where they caught them, what gear they used. So if you catch walleye, call your regional fish and game office to give them that information. And they're, asking, they're also asking anglers not to release them if they catch one mm. and to just enjoy a very tasty dinner. Okay, so take them home and call Fish and Game. That's what they're asking. Yeah. All right, Hector, thank you.